I mean, it gives a uh, it gives birth to two questions. Mm. One is if it is about being ethical, being good in life. Mm. You know, then do you think why why Baba should be there? These things could be taught in the schools. Correct. You know, somebody who is doing nothing, mm. who is amassing in many cases a lot of wealth. So why he should be there? The second question is. Uh, what is the spiritual growth? I am happy in my life. I mean, what is? Are you creating something which is not there? Yeah. And then you say, Ki, yeah, it has to be attained. Agree. So, what is the spiritual? Okay, let us look at the first question first. If you are looking at it as only ethics, yeah, anyone can do that job. Okay, anyone who has a good understanding of the rationale of ethics can do that job. Babas also do that job because nobody else in the society seems to be doing that job. <laughs> Schools are not doing it. Families are not doing it. They only advise. Parents are not doing that job. I see most of the parents only advising the children to be honest, this, that, etc. At the same time, by example, not living it. That's one. And schools, value education is, is a joke. Yeah, yeah, I have seen question answers like... Uh, why should we be honest and ethical in our life? Because they are God's laws. And why should we obey God's laws? Because God loves us. I mean, what type of rationale is this for the modern mind? But I've seen such type of books also. So schools don't be, seem to be doing a job. Parents don't seem, seem to be doing a job. Though also there are some parents who do a good job. Some schools who do a good job. But this is what is there in society. So the Baba spe, uh, steps in and does that. This is nice because he's... Something is available. Okay. Instinctive understanding of ethics and values are always there in people. But their understanding in today's complex society has to be more refined to look at the complex situations that are there. The second question is, is spirituality necessary at all? Yeah, it is necessary but is not discerned by everyone. People are only aware of, at the most, the desires that they have. But if you look at the whole issue, the desire is a symptom of an underlying need. Like I asked somebody, who has a desire to get married to a particular person. Now, that desire of a particular person comes up from an underlying need of physical and emotional com companionship. Physical needs, emotional needs, it comes from there. there. That is why if it doesn't work out with from one person, you can make it work out with someone else. At the same time, if it has not worked out with one person, maybe you don't have the skills to make it, uh, make it, it work out with another person as well. <laughs> Then you'll shift from people to people and not get your needs fulfilled. Okay, so there itself there is an there is has to be some understanding not to live only by my desires, but to recognize the underlying priority that is there behind every desire and work to fulfill those. Now the priorities also come from a deeper need, the need for fulfillment that everyone has. To be a fulfilled person. This need for fulfillment. In other words, freedom from my existential issues of life. Like the purposelessness that comes because finally all of us are going to go under the earth. Or be cremated. Therefore, what is the purpose of all my achievements? There seems to be a purposelessness in life. Life. Therefore, these existential issues keep troubling us. Isolation, loneliness, disconnectedness. These are certain fundamental issues which people don't deal with, they escape from. Today's society is also escapist. Everyone complains they don't have enough time. But the fastest growing industry is entertainment. That means you have a lot of time for entertainment. <laughs> How can you say you don't have time? There's a lot of time available for entertainment. So, and these become escapist spheres. Very few entertainment force you to have a look at yourself. They become escapist spheres. 
Therefore, the underlying need, the spiritual need is not recognized. So, when someone like me or a Vedanta teacher talks about spiritual goals, it is taking care of this need for fulfillment. In traditionally, summed up in one word, moksha, freedom from my existential issues. So, that's a need, but everyone doesn't recognize it. And which we also know, so we always know, there are 10,000 people whom I know, only 50 will land up in my class. <laughs> that's okay, that's fine. That's the part of the game. But once the need is recognized, you start looking for it. Or, in our public programs, where we try to create awareness, there is where we talk about these underlying needs, so that people can recognize that they too have it, even though it is not very evident. And once you recognize it, you also know that this fulfillment exists, there is a solution for the issue, which is non-exploitative, so it's fine.